everyone. Thanks for being part of Easter Seals Miracle League of Michigan's concession crew. We're going to have a great time this year, and I wanted to give you the tutorial on our hot dog roller grill. Step one is turn on the power. The rollers will begin to roll and heat up. For normal game day heating, have the rear turned to high and the front set to keep warm. If we had a full group of people and we wanted to serve 50 hot dogs at one time, place both to high. As you can tell, the heat indicators go on and off when the grills are heating. Make sure you preheat the grill for 10 minutes prior to putting hot dogs on. Once 10 minutes has passed, put the refrigerated hot dogs on the hot rollers, which in this case is the back roller. And up front, I'm going to add a few turkey dogs. All of these were 38 degrees when they were put on. Once the hot dogs are in and cooking, you can close the sneeze guard. The way to do that is when you bring it down, put your fingers in the middle and lift up and it will close easily. When you lift the lid, don't throw it back. These plastic pieces on the end could break. So when you lift it up, lift slowly, take your dogs out, and when you're ready to close it, as you bring it down, push in the middle so it doesn't lock and close the door. While the hot dogs are warming up, you can prepare the buns. So we can open them, get them ready for serving. Some are easier than others. Try not to break the bun in half if possible. Some of these buns just want to break. Depends on what buns we get. So do the best you can. A couple of these have already broken. This is a different brand of bun than we normally use. The ones we use don't break this easily. Once the buns have been laid out, you can set another piece of foil that you'll be wrapping your hot dogs in. This is the foil box we use. After 10 minutes, this is what the hot dogs will look like. Take a hot dog off the grill, put the temperature probe in, wait a couple of minutes and check the temperature of the hot dog. Once the hot dog is over 140 degrees, they can be moved to the front holding section. And when they've reached that temperature, you can move the hot dogs to the front of the grill, which is the holding section. It will keep the hot dogs warm. And they can stay in the front hold area for an hour. The beef ballpark franks have been moved to the front holding area, and I'm leaving the turkey dogs on the back grill for a few extra minutes. The beef hot dogs should be cooked to a temperature of 140 degrees before putting on hold, while the turkey dogs should be cooked to 160 degrees prior to moving from. And once the hot dogs are done, you're ready to put them in the bun. Make sure you always use the gloves and tongs. So grab the hot dogs out, put them in the bun, and then wrap them. I like to go diagonally, put it in, wrap the top over, fold the sides in, and roll. And that's your bun. All right, now let's talk about cleanup. What we do is we take the sneeze guard lids and we lift them up. I'm gonna remove the top. You just kind of lift it, 
be careful with it because it's plastic and then gently move it somewhere that it won't get stepped on. Grab a clean towel, wet it down, preferably with cold water. Once it's wet, we'll put a few drops of this soap, wring it out lightly, and now it's time to clean the grill. Now with the cold towel folded up a few times, you can start washing the grills. Look for areas on the grill where you can see hot dog has been burned into it. And if you see a spot, just wait as that roller comes around and work it until that spot is gone. Then continue with the rest of the grill. And again, we're doing this with the grill on, it's hot, so make sure your towel is wet with cold water and soap. Once you're done and the rollers look clean, we're going to go back to the sink, rinse this towel out really good, and just come back with a towel that's soaked in water, no soap. And now with just water only on this towel, I go over the rollers again. And if you see an excess amount of soap on there, go back and rinse one more time. This will be my final rinse. And then with a clean towel, we come in to dry it up. And now your grills are clean and you can turn the power off. Now that the rollers are off, it's time to clean this grease. For the grease catcher, we just simply slide it out of the machine. You can see this is where the grease or water from cleanup will be. Take it back to the sink and rinse it off. Now this grease pan is a lot bigger than our sinks obviously, so what we need to do is tilt it in. Be careful not to scratch the tile. Put it on hot water, push the button, it turns it into a spray, and we can just rinse it down. Yes, a little water will spray around, so we're gonna have to wipe the counter and wall when we're done. But now we'll just dry this up. And if it's really dirty, you're gonna to wanna to put a little soap on it before you rinse it. And once it's clean, we'll put it back. And the grease catcher, fits simply right under the rollers, slide it back, and it's done. Make sure you clean the outside of the machine off. We've got sprays for that. Make sure all the controls are clean. The power's off. Please make sure to clean all the equipment after each shift. And now the final step is to take the sneeze guard and put that back on. It just simply fits on each corner. And while that was off, if that was dirty, wipe that down as well. And there you have it, the tutorial on the Miracle League of Michigan's Hot Dog Roller Grill. We hope you have a great season.